I told Jimmy to put them at a table right down front. I am so excited. I hope I don't stare at them during the number. Well, I still don't understand it. Oh, Betty, settle down. We've actually got Wallace and Davis coming to see us. Yes, but how did Wallace and Davis ever find out about Judy and Betty Haynes? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, they were in the army with Frankie. Maybe through Frankie. Frankie's in Alaska. How did he ever get to Wallace and Davis? Uh... Uh, I smell a rat here. Maybe the same rat who told this club owner we're his cousins. I didn't say cousins. I said we went to kindergarten together. Did you ever hear about honesty being the best policy? Yeah, and I didn't believe it for a second. Don't you want us to go someplace, Betty? Do you want to keep playing in dives like this forever? Oh, honey, I do want you to succeed. We're a twosome, remember? I don't succeed unless you do. But Judy, I don't want to hold that. I don't want you to hold the act together just because of me. If you get an offer or if you find a really great guy. How can you be so beautiful and so insecure? You're the one who deserves the offer and the guy. I don't know about deserve him, but I'm gonna grab an umbrella and put on galoshes when I need him. You lost me. But we have a contract here. I have to leave, Judy. I thought you'd understand. Without any explanation? It's something that was told to me in confidence. So you can't break a confidence, but you can go off and play the Regency Room? It's a big break, and I'm glad you got it. But whatever happened to Miss Honesty is the best policy. Did she turn into Mussolini all of a sudden? Honey, it just breaks my heart. Aren't you in love with Bob? I thought I was. Well, what did he do to drive you off like this? Let's just say Bob's not the man I thought he was. <laughs> what man ever is? Oh, he got my hopes up. Bob is the most decent guy on earth. I'm like his partner. We're, We're busy. busy. Now what the devil's all this about packing? Good Lord, I'm even talking like the old rooster. It's about Bob and Betty. And maybe about Phil and Judy, too. Well, when you get involved with a song and a dance, man, that's just what you get. A song and a dance. I learned that from the 23 horn players I went out with. Scum, every last one of them. I go with you, Betty. Except I want to stick around and rip Phil's head off. <laughs> As a child, I went wild when a band played. How I ran to the man when his hands swayed. Clarinets were my pets and the slide trombone I thought were simply divine. But today when they play, I could hiss them. Every bar is a jar to my system. But there's one musical instrument I call my I love a piano, I love to hear somebody play upon a piano, a grand piano, it simply carries me away, I know I'll find a way to treat a side way, I love to run my fingers or the keys, the ivories and with the pedal, I love to meddle when Paderewski comes this way. I'm so delighted if I'm invited to hear that long-haired genius play. 